Word up. It's true. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Having myself something that I have reviewed a year and a half, two years ago, when it first came out. Ah, you already know what it is, but man, I found it again here in town. It's 450 a tall can, but it's a classic. Good Monster New England Double IPA. Good Monster New England Double IPA. Um, love the can art. Collective Arts, of course. You know, one of my favorite breweries, like Flying Monkeys or Willy Ball, right? Uh, Nipa. Thank you. I want to say this. Thank you. Sorry, something on my neck here. It's bothering me. Um, sexy Citra. Sexy Armorello. Sexy Simcoe. And sexy, sexy, sexy Mosaic. Let's get into this. This is a fantastic one. Um, yeah. Let's see. Before I open it, when was it brewed? February 6th. February. March. This is April 1st. So, a month and a half ago. Fresh, fresh, fresh. I don't mind a fresh can. month and a half old. Ah, oh, mango pineapple. I leave that banana alone. That cat attacked a banana. Ah, oh, grapefruit. Ah, oh, man, like, like a orange peel pith. Gotta get into it. I love it. I gotta go. Cheers. Sexy eight percent. You don't taste it. This is smooth as f. What is my cat doing? Um, man, good monster. Deepa, I, I I miss their old stuff, and they discontinued some beers that I I have reviewed like two years ago. Totally discontinued. And then they started making this one, and this one was a classic. And I'm glad they're sticking to this. For how long though? I don't know, but. You get everything, orange peel pith, a little bit of peach, mango, and then you get like a nick green in there, and then a cantaloupe, and then bang, you right at the end, you get grapefruit. It's great. This is great. This is fantastic. Collective Arts, Arts makes fantastic beer. And I know it's a little pricey, but they do pay for all the, all the art, can art. So... Uh, this can art actually came from uh, Costa Rica. So if you see right there, I don't know. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. That's uh, this guy right here. Oh, if you could get that focused. Anyways, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. You can't go wrong with a good monster. You need a good monster in your life. Try something different. Be kind of your neighbors. 9 out of 10. And, yeah. Let's sit back and watch them. Hell's Kitchen with my good monster. Have a great one, guys. Cheers.